what are you going to tell your parents you learned this year? Well, I'm going to tell them that I know more than them, it, like, about Jewish and Christian because I learned from them because they taught me. We're here with Shaheen, one of the main organizers of the London Interfaith Peace Camp. Welcome to the Muslim View, Shaheen. Thank you very much. So nice to see you again, Sarah. Thank you for having us. Tell me a little bit about what the Interfaith Peace Camp is all about. So the Interfaith Peace Camp is children who are of Abrahamic descent. So we've got Muslims, Christians, and Jews all working together as a camp, and counselors that also represent those faiths. So our goal here is to give kids a chance to play to, with one another when there are different religions and not even have that be an issue. So you have a Muslim kid playing with a Jewish kid and then a Christian kid, and they all just get along. And that's kind of the goal where we start when they're young, where we can say, you know, they haven't been influenced so much by maybe the media or politics or what maybe ancestors have said about different groups. They're just young kids having fun. And when they go home, they're like, oh yeah, did you know my Muslim friend, she doesn't eat pepperoni pizza because she can't have it because it's not halal. Or did you know my Jewish friend, she has dietary rules also. She can't eat pork just like me. And then in the end, they end up sharing these stories and visiting each other's places of worship. And it makes the, the whole experience um, a positive one for children. And what do you think the children are learning from it? And what are you learning from it personally? Well, I always learn every year when I come to the Peace Camp. This year we were able to go to Or Shalom, the Al Mahdi Center, and St. John to the Vine. So a Catholic church, a Shia mosque, and we went to a conservative synagogue. So all three new places and all kind of different from what we've been to before. So what I learned, for example, is I will chat with a pastor or chat with our photographer who happens to be Jewish, and we'll share common things. So for example, in Muslim, uh, Islam we often say the words inshallah, which means God willing. And you'll see maybe Christian people saying, yeah, God willing, we'll do this. But there's actually an origin of that, a Latin origin called Deo Valente. So even when you have a wedding card, for example, if you practice this and believe in this, you'll have on your wedding card, so-and-so is marrying so-and-so, Deo Valente, or DV, on this date, where we would say maybe inshallah on this date. So it's kind of understanding that we have some control, but we don't have all the control. We may break a leg or something may happen and we might, may not make it to that wedding or whatever. So I, I find it cool to share these similarities and understand origins of things whenever we have the peace camp. And why do you recommend people bring their children to the peace camp? What kind of things will they be learning? And kind of give us an overview of the programs uh, that, you're, that you're having here. So one of my friends sent her kids for the first time and her kids were dropped off and they're like, so are we going swimming at this camp? She's like, no. Are we, is it a sports camp? Do we play tennis and other things? She's like, well, there's sports, but it's not a sports camp. So they're like, well, what do you do? Sit in church all day? Like, this sounds exciting. And she's like, no, I think go and ha you'll have a good time. So they came the first day, very apprehensive students sitting in the back thinking, mm. Are we going to sing Kumbaya? Is that all we do here? And by the end of it, they were skipping out, excited to come back the next day. So things that we do is we start off with trickle time, which is where kids get to make beads and crafts, do Lego, whatever their interests are, they get to play together. And again, you have kids of all different religions and all different backgrounds working together on bead making or bracelet making. And then after that, we actually start our program. So Monday and Friday, we just stay at King's College all day. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we load a bus and we go to a different place. So we'll go to the Jewish temple, we'll go to the mosque, we'll go to a church, and we get the kids to see that space. So it's easy for me to stand up and say, this is Islam, this is how we pray, this is what we do. But when you go to a mosque and the imam is up there saying, this is how you pray, it's a whole different experience. And the other kids who actually go to that mosque are very excited to say, oh, have you seen this? And let me show you this. And this is where we have Sunday school. And this is where the washrooms are. I know exactly where things are here. So they actually feel very proud of their religion. So not, it's, people kind of worry, are you going to convert my child at the end of this? But in the end, the children developed an, their own sense of pride for their own religion. I remember the first year we did the peace camp, we had all the Muslim students gather together and recite a chapter from the Quran Surah Fatiha. And they were very excited to do this and everybody knows Surah Fatiha so it was, it was an easy one to get. And then at the end they, they went and sat down. The next day the Jewish students went to the rabbi and said, we would like to recite something in Hebrew. And so she never told them to, or they said, we want to share the Hebrew breaking of the bread ceremony. So they got together around the, the, the bread, and before we started eating, they did a prayer in Hebrew, which was just beautiful to see. And I find with the Christian, the Christian students, on the first day, there's always a kid every year that comes to the Peace Garden where we break off by different fates. We 
only do that once or twice during our actual time at the camp. And there will be a Christian student that will come to me and say, where do I go? And it happens every year that they just, they haven't realized that I'm a Christian. That's just something that's just so understood or, or so common in Canada. So you'll have a Jewish kid that knows they're a Jewish kid, a Muslim kid that knows they're different, I'm a Muslim kid. But the Christian may not understand that. And so that when they gather together as Christians, they're like, oh, so this is my religion and this is more than just what everybody else does. Thank you so much for joining us. That was a wonderful, wonderful uh, input and uh, information. Excellent. Thank you. It was nice to be here. And I'm so glad that you guys are taking the time to, to, to highlight our peace camp. And it's something that I think that we should do all over. Thanks so much. Thank you. Janine. Janine, tell me what you learned at the camp this year. Well, I learned that each religion the ha each religion has many things in common and you know many things that are the same like all of us believe that there's one god and uh, did you go to any of the did you go to the church in the synagogue yes and what was that like for you what did you feel when you went there i felt i was that religion when i f went there that's amazing and have you made a lot of friends just one just one have you guys, are you guys almost best friends, do you think? Yes. Yeah? That's awesome. We're here with Pastor Charlene from the Valley View Mennonite Church. Welcome to the show, Charlene. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. Tell me a little bit about your experience with the Interfaith Peace Camp. Um, I've been part of the planning and, and uh, implementing of this camp since the, just prior to our first camp. So this is our first, uh, this is our third year of running the London Interfaith Peace Camp. Um, I, I got on board uh, after the first planning team had got together and uh, it started with somebody from my church who had encountered this idea at Eastern Mennonite uh, University in Virginia and uh, wanted to bring the camp here to London. And there were some ties between um, David Jansen and, and, and some people in the Muslim community. And then my husband had some ties in the Jewish community and they all came together and he said, do you think we can do this here in London? I said, yeah, let's give this a shot. Let's try this. And so we planned it. We had materials from Virginia that we could see kind of what were their schedules, what were things looking like. And um, then uh, we said, okay, let's, let's put this together. And the first year really was like that. We said, okay, let's, let's row. Let's, let's do this. And we didn't really know what we were doing, but we knew why we were doing it. Uh, the second year, the counselors really came in and Sean, and this year it's, it really does feel like it's, it's starting to, to be something that we know what we're doing. And uh, we're really excited about what we're doing. Charlene, tell me why is it important to have a camp like this every year? Okay. Well, one of the reasons that we do this is, um, well, there are many, many reasons, but, but Canada is an increasingly diverse society. Um, this is not a conversation that we can kind of put off on the, on the intellectual or the theoretical uh, realm anymore. This is something uh, we bump into people of different religions in our neighborhoods, in the shopping centers, in our schools, our children's friends are of different faiths. Uh, and it doesn't just end with school, it's in our uh, athletic uh, programs. And when we grow up, uh, this is our workplace. Um, and so we want to be informed uh, about each other uh, and to develop a, a level of knowledge and respect. But it's more than just being informed because I, I think there's a certain level that the schools can do. We can talk about tolerance, we can talk about diversity, but these are the faith groups sort of taking ownership ourselves and saying, we are Muslim, we are Christian, we are Jewish, and we want to know more about each other and we want to express support for one another. So the, we, I talk about the, the camp um, to the kids, London Interfaith Peace Camp. We say, first of all, we're a camp and we have a lot of fun together. We do the camp sort of things that are fun. And we're in London, so that's the London camp. And I say, then we have this word interfaith. And that's a big word for kids. And so I, I have said, okay, inter, we use it in internet and that's connecting commuter, computers, right? Or international was the idea that kids, nations coming together, many nations. We said interfaith is the different faith groups. And we have here the, at this peace camp, we have the three Abrahamic faith groups, Jewish, Christian, and, and Muslim kids coming together. So in, in we are interfaith, we're coming together. We're, we're coming together, we're making connections, we're building bridges. And that's really what this is about. Um, and we don't just talk about it, we go to the sites. We go to see a synagogue, we go to see a mosque, we go to see a church, and we receive some instruction from the religious leader in that place. 
and then we come back and we play a bit more and then we hash it out and I think our goal is that the kids have these words these sights these sounds in their vocabulary in their life experience and uh, they become knowledgeable and respectful um, I think regardless of faith you can't heart help but being really respectful when you see the Torah in all its majesty and, and there's no replacement for coming and seeing it in person and that gets a soul of a, of a faith or to to take off your shoes and say this is holy ground when you go into a mosque uh, to hear the call to prayer and I think for, for, for people to come into a church, it's our hope that they, they hear the teachings of Jesus and go, wow, this is a religion of love. And we may not have experienced that elsewhere. Um, so I think that's part of our goal, is to experience the other religions in a, in a sense of hospitality, to receive food in those places and feel at home. So to be um, hosted by other faith groups and to, to feel good, but then also um, to feel really good about our own, to, to say, okay, um, this is who I am, and this is a multi-faith multi -faith context. Is it okay to be Christian? Is it okay to be Muslim? Is it okay to be Jewish? And in this uh, increasingly diverse world, maybe the kids start to wonder, should I have any faith at all? Is it offensive to have a faith? And to say, no, no, we want to be proud. Uh, you can hold a faith. You can be devout. You can be very uh, faithful in your faith tradition and be loving towards those of other neighbors, of other uh, neighboring religions. And what do you hope the kids kind of take away from their experience here? And, and you know, I know your, your son is here, Tobias, and what do you hope that he takes away from it? Or what has he already told you that he's learned from the experience? Well, my son Tobias, is, this is his first year, he's six, and so he came in really a blank slate. Um, he curious, uh, obviously wanting to figure out, and I think when you're kids, you're trying to figure out, well, is it okay? What do you think? You know, who am I? They're really sorting it out, and I think this is a, a chance. I want him to sort out, I, I am a Christian in this diverse world, and it's okay to be Christian, and wow, isn't it wonderful what the Jewish faith has to offer, what the Muslim faith has to offer. I want him to be articulate and literate and respectful, loving, I want in this world of, of other faiths. So the camp is not only, um, you know, different religions coming together, but there's also different uh, ethnicities coming together. Talk to me a little bit about that. Okay, you know, that was not a, that's not an explicit aim of the camp. And I think we have uh, different ethnicities coming together in this camp because there are different ethnicities represented in our faith groups. Uh, Christianity is a global religion. Judaism is a global religion. As you know, Islam is a global religion. And so as the corners of the earth come together in London, uh, we feel that also in our churches and our mosques and our synagogues and here at the Interfaith Peace Camp. Thank you so much for joining us. That was beautiful. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Khalil. Khalil, tell me a little bit about what you're learning at the camp this year. I'm learn I learned that at the synagogue they have an ark that keeps all the Torahs in it. And there's more than one Torah. And I also learned that there was a light that shines over the ark that's always on. And um, what what kind of things do you do you are you going to take home and kind of tell your parents or tell your dad? I'm going to take home. Uh, I'm going to take home this awesome. bracelet. A uh, bracelet. Okay. And what's the, what's your favorite activity that you've done here so far? Mm, I like soccer. And do you want to come next year? Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. We're here with Walter, part of the Temple Israel of London. Welcome to the show, Walter. Thank you very much, Sarah. Walter, why are you here today? I'm here because I've been here every year since the camp began three, well, two years ago. This is the third year. I came the first day because I'm the Temple Israel photographer, and I was asked by the rabbi, Rabbi Dressler, to come and take pictures, and I figured I would be here for an hour, maybe at the most, and take pictures of the kids as they arrived and maybe started their activities, and then I would go home and go on to my regular activities. And I became so in love with how the kids got together and played together and learned together that I didn't go home that day. And I came back the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next year. And this is the third year. So I just, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful experience the kids are having. And I think it's good for the grown-ups too. What have you learned personally through this experience? 
I have learned uh, a lot of things. One, one is that uh, people are people, and I've always known that, but it's sort of nice to experience it in, in a bigger way. Um, I also learned things sort of not intellectual, but of a more object, you know, more informational nature about Islam, especially uh, also about uh, Christianity. Uh, I knew the word beatitudes, but I didn't really understand them until they were explained to me yesterday at St. John the Divine. Um, and I even sometimes learn a bit more about my own faith. And I, I certainly saw more than one would ever expect to see the similarities. I mean, I always knew that we had, for example, as Semitic people, uh, cognate words in Arabic and Hebrew. And I understand a little bit of Arabic because I understand Hebrew. But I didn't realize how much we have in common in so many other, other ways in terms of customs, in terms of prayer, and so on. And talk to me a little bit about um, when the children here go to the uh, synagogue, what kind of things are they learning and what kind of things are you teaching them there? Okay. Well, first of all, they were met at, at Or Shalom Synagogue, which is a conservative synagogue in London. They were met by a rabbi who was a female. And in fact, Temple Israel's rabbi is a female. And only the Orthodox branch of Judaism does not have women as rabbis. So I think they may have been surprised that the rabbi was a, a female. They may have thought only Temple Israel had a woman rabbi, but no, Or Shalom does too. Uh, so they were met by Catherine Clark, Rabbi Catherine Clark, and uh, she showed them uh, our prayer book and she did a demonstration of what it would be like to hear the, uh, the particular Torah portion, the weekly Torah portion that uh, was going to be is going to be read on Saturday this week. And uh, we saw the different uh, versions of the, the Torah in, in print copy. And then at the very end, uh, they were all called up to the Bima, the central prayer area of the synagogue sanctuary, uh, and got a chance to actually see a Torah scroll. And I think that's something a lot of people don't ever get a chance to do, especially non-Jews. And I think they really found it very interesting. The, 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 it's all handwritten. They were very impressed that it takes a year to build, to make a, a Torah scroll. It's done on parchment with special inks. And they learned things about that. And what do you hope the kids kind of take away from this camp? Well, I think the objective things, I think, are one thing to know what a mezuzah is, to know what, what a, uh, uh, let's forget the right word, masala, the prayer rug, I learned a few words, uh, to learn what those things are so that they're not afraid of them or they understand when people are using them what they're doing. Uh, but I think more importantly really is the, the getting to know each other as people and as friends. And there's been no talk of any, nothing negative, no, no political discussions, nothing. It's just being children, being friends, learning about each other, becoming friends. I see kids arm in arm of all different religions and cultures and, and so on. And some of my favorite photo, I, I'm a photographer for the campus, I said, and some of my favorite pictures are pictures of kids multi, multi-ethnic in, in every way, uh, arm in arm and just really smiling and having a good time. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure to have you. My pleasure, Sarah. Thank you very much. You. What are you learning this year at the camp? Um, I learned something new that you have to like, um, that we have like, um, uh, that we can like do, um, so we sit down and we learn about lots of churches and stuff, and we learn about temples. I think that's about church, but we learn about Jewish and Christian. Yeah, and I like stuff about that. And, and are you making a lot of friends? Yes. Yeah? Have you made any new best friends? Yep. Yeah? Omar. Omar. And are you going to come next year? Um, Do you yeah, like I might. You might? Yeah. Okay. Hi, can I get your name? Uh, I'm Kadra Mustafa. Kadri, what uh, organization are you coming from? Uh, I'm from the mosque. I'm a Muslim, and yeah, and I come to an interfaith peace camp just to learn about other religions. And what do you like the most about the the camp this year? You know, I get to learn about other religions. You know, um, I just get to go to like the church and the um, wherever the Jewish people go, uh, the synagogue, um, and I and I learned that um, we all believe in some things, and like yeah, so. Yeah, and we get to play soccer, so it's very fun, you know. And do you want, do you want to come next year? I, I believe, I hope so. Yeah. Why? Uh, because you know it's a fun camp. You know, you get to play soccer. Um, we have fun counselors, and you know, you get to eat great food, and it's all very interesting and entertaining. So, I'm just happy to be here. Thanks so much, Kadri. What's your name? My name's Cassidy. Cassidy, how, what? How many times have you been here? This is my third year. Awesome. And what do you like the most about the uh, camp? The thing I like the most is having other traditional foods because I don't really get 
Muslim foods and Jewish foods, so I really like that. What did you like about the mosque food and what did you like about the synagogue food? I thought they were very different, but very good. Yeah. And will you come next year? Yes. Yeah. Why? Because I like to be here because I make friends and I have fun. What did you learn from the camp so far? I learned that all three, there's peace in three different languages and there is all, there, every religion has Jesus in it. And what's your name? Taryn. Taryn, why are you here today? Um, I just like meeting new friends and um, learning about different religions, so it's a really good camp because I like meeting new friends, playing games, meeting like meeting new people in different religions. So, What's something new that you learned from this camp? I learned that um, everyone has like um, different gods and that um, that you get to, um, uh, you, that um, everyone has different foods and different like rules that they get to eat stuff. So, Tell me a little bit about what you learned uh, from this camp so far. Um, I guess like the main thing about this camp is just, you know, to like unite people and like, you know, like stay connected no matter like what religion they are. So that's like what basically I learned mostly about it. So I and I like like that about this camp the most too. I have like the, the unity between like all three religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam. So I like that. And Amazing. And so you're you guys are all one of the counselors. Talk to me a little bit about your role and what you do here. So our role pretty much is to watch the kids and um, help them. So if they have any questions about the different religions while we go to the different areas, um, like when we went to the synagogue, a lot of the kids who weren't Jewish um, had so many questions because they were just so excited to learn. So it's our job as counselors to help them learn a little bit more if they have any questions and then just get them really engaged in what they do. Amazing. And what kind of things did you learn this year? Um, I learned that it doesn't matter if you're Jewish or Christian or Muslim because we all worship the same God and it was actually surprising to find out how many of the, um, I guess, like beliefs and traditions intertwine because it is the same God and God never changes. Okay. And what are your hopes, like, what are your hopes that the children kind of take away from this camp this year? I really hope that the kids can take away um, that everybody here is pretty much the same. We might have our slight differences, but um, that's the part of coming to this camp to learn what we have the same so that when they go they can go and tell all their friends and all their family that oh these people are just like us they do this and they do that amazing thank you so much for joining us guys thank you, thank you.